Hey Playa, as we get closer and closer to you going back to middle school, I've outlined five things that you need to know before you start. Don't worry, they're not that hard to remember, but they are important enough to affect your entire middle school experience. Middle school is way different than elementary school. You might be around new people in a new environment and it might make you kind of nervous. That's why it's incredibly important to keep yourself organized. You're gonna be hopping around from classroom to classroom, so make sure to write every single room number that you have to go to in the beginning of your notebook. It's gonna seem at first like there's a lot of information to remember, where your homeroom is, what's your locker number, and what classes mean on which day, but as time goes on, you'll get used to the cycle. The most important thing to remember here is that it's okay if you forget. I used to forget all the time when I was in middle school, so I decided to reach out, ask a teacher to help me navigate so I could find my classes a whole lot easier. The next thing you might start noticing is that your body is starting to change. And I don't mean in a mutant, uh, morphing kind of way, I mean in the kind of sense that you're growing body hair, girls are growing boobs, and boys' voices are getting deeper. Some kids just develop faster than others. It doesn't make you weird if you have a mustache and your friends don't, and it doesn't make you weird if all your friends wear bras and you're the only one that's braless. Trust me on this one. As the years go on, things will level out. Your body will start to grow in its own way. So don't start stressing out comparing yourself to others because it's just an unfair game to play. Speaking about changes, let's talk a little bit about relationships because the ones you're gonna have will come and go. Middle school seems like the testing ground for everyone to go and get a boyfriend or girlfriend, but don't get too hung up on the idea of liking someone because everyone at that age wants to experiment, wants to try new things, and might get bored very easily. It also doesn't mean that you're not good enough if you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend. I didn't get my first girlfriend till I was a sophomore in high school. Trust me, at this stage in your life, it's all about learning what your feelings mean and not really defining what they are yet. Another important thing to remember, don't be stupid just to be cool. It's very easy to get sucked into being rowdy and reckless just because your friends are doing it. Try to keep a level head and ask yourself beforehand, is this something that can get me in trouble or is this something that can actually hurt someone's feelings? If the answer is yes to either of those questions, don't get involved. This is the age where kids are gonna start picking on each other even more than before. Don't be a jerk and join along. In fact, if you wanna learn how to be cool in middle school, I made a video explaining exactly how to do it, which I'll link up right here. I'm also gonna put it in the description of the video so you can check it out right after you finish watching this one. And finally, embrace the fact that you are special just the way you are. You don't have to do anything to prove yourself to earn that title. Just by being you, you stand out from everyone else. But I get it. You have fears, you get nervous, you make mistakes. That just makes you normal. Don't get sucked into the drama when you hear someone say that they're better than you or that someone's talking about you. Always choose to rise above hate and remember that no matter what anyone says, nothing can take away the fact that you are the best you that can be. What do you think? What other questions do you have about middle school? Leave a comment below and we'll talk about it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I put out a new video every Tuesday teaching young teens just like you how to be their best self. Also, if you just graduated middle school but now you're heading to high school, check out my other video where I share five things that you need to know about high school. That's also gonna be linked down there as well. And make sure to share this video with all of your friends so that everyone in your group can be prepared for what middle school has to offer. As always guys, love, and peace.